What's more valuable, questions or answers? Here's how I demonstrate value to the client. What's more valuable, questions or answers? What'd you say? Questions. Okay, is it true? It, are questions more valuable than answers? Everybody here backs it up, right? You're boom, I got you. Okay, so if questions are more valuable, what did you guys just give me? You gave me the answer, you see? It's kind of instinctive, so when somebody asks you a question, we can't help ourselves but to respond with an answer. So the trick here, okay, is to hold a mirror up to people and invert the question and to make sure you have greater understanding. So reflect back with another question. So what you're trying to do, this is what I sell. I don't sell you my idea, I sell you your idea. So I'm gonna keep asking you more and more questions so you get clarity. And you know what happens afterwards usually? They're like, oh my God, what you said, what you told me, how do you know so much about our business? And I walk away thinking, I don't. I just ask you more questions until you know more about your business. And the thing is, is, and I have a theory about this, that all ideas that are not our own sound foreign. And foreign ideas are hard for us to take in. Think about it. Every time you've read a new book, watched a new movie, or heard a new song for the very first time without any context, generally speaking, especially music, you kind of don't like it. It takes a while. It takes a couple of plays on the radio or a friend to recommend it or to hit a playlist on KCRW. You're like, oh, maybe I should give this another try. And it's happened to me many times. So foreign ideas, it's kind of like an invader into our brain. So I know you're married, I'm, I'm married, we're both happily married. So if your spouse, significant other, friend comes in, it's like, uh, Mary, you should totally change that design. And you know you need to change it. Make it bigger. But your reaction's gonna be, don't tell me what to do, we hate being told what to do, right? So if you came into the thing and somebody invited you into the dialogue, like, I have a problem. Mary's like, Mary, I, I mean, Mary's saying, I have a problem. You can say, well, what is the problem? Well, I'd like to get your opinion. What about? What do, you, what do you think of this? Well, what would you like me to focus on? Oh, I, I feel like the, the, the composition's out of balance. Oh, that's interesting. Do you feel like all the elements are the same in size? No, oh, yeah, yeah. So maybe I need to make it bigger. Yeah, I think that would help. So I think people already have the answers, especially when it comes to psychological or kind of uh, uh, issues with the organization. They already kind of know what the answer is. They're looking for some kind of validation or affirmation or something to help them see it much more clearly. And we know this. We can solve just about anybody's problems. We can't solve our own. It's because we lack perspective. We last, lack objectivity and logic. And we're, we're driven more by emotion, so it becomes very cloudy. So my job as a person to demonstrate my thinking or process is just to ask more questions until it becomes much, much clearer. And then we say, well, if that's a problem you think is worth solving, let's engage. Let's talk about what that's worth. So let's talk about how emotion governs in the, in the way that you make decisions. Let's pick something and let's go into it.